Lubriano seems to have been built on a very scenic balcony, created for his inhabitants to enjoy the wonderful view of Bagnoregio. Picturesque sights of the valley. The white ravines crossing the countryside. and the woods surrounding this lovely little town. The historical centre follows the main street leading onto St John the Baptist Square and Church. Palazzo Monaldeschi occupies one of the sides of the square. The land where it was built was bought by the powerful family of the Monaldeschi from Oriveto in order to establish here a hunting retreat, which remained almost unchanged from 1100 until a violent earthquake in 1600. What we see today is the palace which was built according to the project by Giovanni Battista Gazzale, a magnificent mansion surrounded by gardens. St John's Square and the Main Street are decorated with thousands of flowers for the Corpus Christi celebrations, starting on the afternoon of the eve of the feast until the next morning. Residents draw artistic pictures of religious themes, which they later cover with colourful flowers. At 11am, the procession, carrying banners and accompanied by little girls dressed up as angels, will walk over this flower carpet, and its side will pass the marching music band. Lubriano is however to be appreciated not only for its historical and cultural aspects. In order to appreciate its naturalist feature, it is important to stop by the Nature Museum, and especially to walk the nature trail that will lead you in the discovery of the secrets of geology, flora and fauna of the Taverina Valley. <laughs> 